2020 is over. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. There's a lot to be excited for in 2021 when it comes to TV technology. The word you'll be hearing a lot this year is mini LED. A lot of different companies will be using mini LED in their flagship TVs. LG has announced that they're using it using QNED technology. This is something that they've been working on that uses their nano and quantum dot filter that's currently in their LCD TVs. LG was really struggling against Samsung and really a lot of top TV manufacturers in the LCD department. If you look at the sales data from 2019, QLED actually outsold OLED by twice the amount. And I think LG is starting to realize that, look, we're missing out on the high-end TV market for people that don't want to buy OLED. And that's bigger than they thought. They think that they can change the mind of a lot of people and just convert them to OLED, but that's just not the case. Some people just will never buy an OLED due to burning. They're scared of it. They don't want to buy a TV only for it to have some faults two or three years later. People look to buy TVs for the long term. They want to buy a TV and then forget about it for five or six years. They're not all tech enthusiasts like we are on this channel. I know you guys love TVs and you probably watch multiple TV channels and we're just nerds when it comes to this stuff, right? We, we geek out about technology, but the average consumer just really doesn't do that. LG has kind of been missing the mark with those people. I think that one big downside when it comes to LG's current LCDs is brightness. These things are really, really dim. And it's a shame because I've seen the Nano 90 in person and I was actually really, really like surprised with the picture quality. I thought the picture quality was excellent, but it was just too dim. I think that with a mini LED technology behind it, we could really talk about a really great TV that could rival Samsung. This is something LG kind of had to do. Speaking on LG's QNED, it'll feature 30,000 LED backlights and 2,500 dimming zones on its 86 inch model. That's actually really, really impressive. And I can't wait to see what these things look like in person. So come April, May, hopefully is when they'll release and we'll be able to check some of this stuff out ourselves. One way or the other, I'm going to find a way to check it out. A lot of companies are going to be going the mini LED route. Samsung is definitely going to be putting all their eggs in the mini LED basket this year. The rumor is they're calling it Neo technology. It really makes me excited thinking about what a TV like the Q90T could be if it had mini LED backlighting. Full array is really nice and I still get really, really deep blacks and sometimes very similar to OLED black levels. But if it had a mini LED in it, we could be talking about black levels that rival almost OLED. And that's really exciting to talk about. So contrast levels will definitely improve with these TVs and also screen uniformity will improve with mini LED. You'll see way less dirty screen effect as a result of the new panel technology. 2020 was a kind of rough year when it comes to TVs and really we were left to be beta testers for HDMI 2.1. And hopefully for the people that are buying in 2021, you guys won't have to run into some of the same problems that 2020 buyers had to deal with. Hopefully these things will just work out of the box in terms of HDMI 2.1. I think that when you buy a TV out of the box, everything should just kind of work. But the reality is it doesn't. And we have to deal with that as consumers. And it's, it's frustrating. Nobody wants to deal with that. And I've been trying to highlight some of the biggest issues so that these manufacturers see it and they want to address it. Hopefully. That's the hope. Speaking of Sony. I really hope to see a lot of new implementation of HDMI 2.1 in their TVs because having only the X900H support some of the HDMI 2.1 features was a real letdown. I'd like to see it in their OLEDs and their top end TVs because Sony actually has a lot going for it when it comes to color. They can get color looking really good 
out of the box. So how are you guys dealing with 2020 issues? Is it something that you've been able to get over or is it something where you're like, oh, well, I'm just ready to move on and buy a new TV already? I know a lot of people that bought in 2020 might have already just returned their TVs just because they're so frustrated with HDMI 2.1. Now, I'm not expecting anybody that bought in 2020 to want to buy in 2021 unless it's a TV for another room. But 2021 does look like a great year to buy a new TV. It's the first year where we're seeing brand new panel technology being adopted by multiple companies. So are you guys excited for mini LED? Let me know in the comments. And also let me know if you bought in 2020 and you're planning to buy in 2021. I think that would probably be a minority of people because really, when you buy a TV, you're looking to keep it for three or four years. Now, I'm a tech enthusiast and I'm a TV enthusiast, so I'm probably gonna end up buying a TV this year. I kinda have to, I owe it to you guys to cover some of these TVs and you can look forward to that on this channel. So that's all I really have to say about 2020 going forward. We're going to be covering a whole lot of 2021 TVs with the CES coverage that is coming up. So I hope you guys have a happy new year and stay safe, stay positive, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want to see more, make sure you click these videos right here. We're in right here, right here, right here, all, all around me. They're all around me. All these videos, click them, click these videos. Thanks.